Okay, you guys have 48 hours to design and construct something that will stop all of these elements from destroying the tank and thus ruining your tropical vacation. You catch it? You're snorkeling and drinking Mai Tai. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's Jim Casey, a trained structural engineer. His idea of a good time is modifying standard pickup trucks and racing them against the best sports cars in California. I race full-size trucks, and I develop products for racing. And I just decided, you know, I can take a truck and, and uh, beat guys with their sports cars. I would buy Detroit's best uh, sport truck and then go through all of the systems in the vehicle uh, and just creatively modify them so that I could be competitive, frankly, with the best sports cars on the track. And I'm going to bring all of that energy from the track here onto the set. I'm going to win. Okay, so, so materials we're here. Check out the place, right? It's not just the wind, it's the wind and the debris. It, it's gonna be a challenge, no question about it. Steel tubing, good. Yeah, what material do you think we're, we are gonna use? Probably the easiest thing to do would be to make a wooden structure. How do you feel about that? I'm and thinking metal poles. You are thinking metal poles. I'm thinking metal poles would be real easy. You know, what right through the poles. What would you rather poles. have for, for this kind of, for the structure? Would you rather have wood or metal? Well, you know, wood's really easy to work with, if you ask yeah. me. Uh, it's, it's something lighter. that we're both really familiar with. Of course, it won't be as strong with the, the wood as it would be the steel, but maybe we need to get some wood elements into it. They voted two to one, uh, the two carpenters, that they wanted to do wood against my metal design. I just want to kind of hand it over to him. I'm curious, wood versus metal? You guys are building this out of 4x4 four four wood with some 2x4s. I see some 1x3s. Why are you going that route? On my part, the reason why I wanted wood is because that's what I work with and that's what I know. And I think you want a little bit of flex. You know, you don't want to be the rigid oak, you want to be the blade of grass. I know you had expressed some interest in using metal early on, and then the two against one vote sort of went for the wood. The strength that would come from the the metal fabrication clearly uh, will withstand anything. Hurricanes are very complex. They bring a lot of different elements, and this is something that I want you guys to keep thinking about. So is there anything about a hurricane that we didn't discuss? He's given us the suggestion that we're a little bit underbuilt right now. I think I might be um, a lot more comfortable if we could get some metal, maybe, uh, elements here. I mean, if I, if I really had my way, I would come up and build an elaborate steel frame um, and anchor it easily with concrete all the way up. It would be steel, it would be impenetrable. So we should go ahead and add the, the metal to it. So it's back to the design table to figure out how to add more metal to their wooden structure. What's your idea of getting the proper metal strength to it? I want to do, um, give it some shear strength. We'll do diagonal bracing that we can anchor down. It doesn't and, have to be oh sophisticated yeah. at all. Well, I like the idea of expanded metal, and I'm just, you know, chicken expanded wire is metal. A good idea. Expanded wire metal mesh. is a strong yeah. chicken wire. It's actually perforated metal. We really want something substantial up there, something that can take a, a good hit. It's right. all about building the, a cage right. to house the glass, and then it just has to be supported by whatever fashion we can uh, come up with. OK. End of day one, and we're hurricaned out. What do you know? These guys were real confident at the beginning. Then they talked to Mike. He had some concerns, and now they're back at the drawing board. Will they have what it takes to save these tickets and get on that vacation? We'll have to wait and see. There's a storm on the horizon, folks. Why didn't you guys tell us that? Guess what? The tank is sitting on top of coconuts. Whoa. Jim is off on a field trip to chase down the key material that he thinks will save the aquarium, expanded metal. You know, I'd love to go with the best design right off the bat, which would be, you know, metal. But uh, the other two are more comfortable working with wood. So now, now we've got a composite design. You know, we've got a wood backbone frame with uh, steel reinforcing. Three quarters of an inch, I think, is the opening of this stuff. I think that will keep out any husks um, from breaking the glass. That falls right in line with what I was looking for, so this is the stuff, I'm sure. I am Jim Casey, and my occupation is engineering. And now we're going to cradle this. We're going to wrap uh, two by sixes with foam and, and cushion this tank. 
so that it can't wobble and go in any direction. But yet that becomes another element you guys are gonna have to construct. And you know, here we are back at the design table and slowly but surely, you guys could run out of time. Ready to see what happens? Yeah. Yeah. Not really. How about we step it up to three pieces? Fire in the hole. Damn. Oh, check that out. Wish we were in steel. <laughs> Wish we were steel all the way. That is impressive. That's three quarter inch plywood just shattered. I, I'm pretty nervous, actually. Like, I, I physically tensed up and got a little bit sick to my stomach seeing that happen. You know, I know you got a lot that you're thinking yeah. about, but here's just one more thing on your plate. Yeah. Because 16 hours will fly. So let's get some of that steel cut and anchored down to the ground. We got about half a ton of steel. The yeah. heavy metal arrives. After the last test, these guys need to seriously armor up. We're going to need every bit of this. And Jim sets his sights on solving the weakness at the base of the structure. This is going to be the hold down for the uh, post out there. We're going to take this uh, angle iron and sandwich the post with them. We're going to anchor them with some big uh, redhead fasteners into the concrete. Then we're going to drill right through here one hole uh, with a nice half inch bolt right through the post. And that ought to anchor this down pretty good and prevent that catastrophe that Mike showed us earlier. And Jim is armoring up the structure. I'm going to put on some uh, steel corners right now to cover up these outside corners. It's getting a little tight, but we're not going to quit. We're going to see this thing through. Jim pushes himself to finish the metal fabrication. Dragon, I'm looking for some caffeine. Is there caffeine in there? I see uh, Jim's out there fabricating brackets. We got to clad this side and that side, right? All right. right. And screw that back on it. Act like a huge wash. I gotta get this yeah. out. Uh oh, they're taking apart pieces of the fort right I'm now. With just under three minutes left. Awesome. Two minutes, guys. Gotta get out of there. Storms are brewing. Two minutes left. Long I don't know enough. about you, but if a hurricane's Long coming my way, this point in time. I'm not standing right there. 30 seconds, everybody. That's it. You guys are out. Put down the nail gun, my friend. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Get out of there. I don't want you to get hurt. Here we go. Three, two, one, zero. It's hurricane time. Fire in the hole. We gotta go see if the tank is still intact, guys, but I have to say, structurally, this thing did a little wobbling, did a little dancing. Costa Rica shimmy. Yeah, is that what that was? <laughs> All right, well, let's go see if you'll be shimmying in Costa Rica with this thing. All right. I see an aquarium. Yeah? And it looks good. All right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Get together. Yeah. Right on, boys and girls. Unbelievable job. I mean, I'm very impressed with the structure. I think you guys did a great job. You started off with a simple framework. You were ready to adapt, and uh, you succeeded the challenge.